Hey everyone, Couch Investor back to another video for today. So let's talk about Tesla. I'll put a little note here about General Motors as well. But the main point of this video is talking about why buying Tesla right now could see you make 30% sooner rather than later, according to one analyst. Now, we all know that a couple of weeks ago, President Biden's administration has signed the Inflation Reduction Act, which was a big positive for EV companies like Tesla, General Motors, which both of them were not really eligible for the last tax credit that was signed. Now, it's very, very important to note that, well, it's not just you're getting flat out $7,500. No, it's a bit more complicated than that. By the way, General Motors is also paying out a dividend. Well, again, paying a dividend that is not that much close to 1% or so, 9 cents every quarter or 36 cents for the whole year. So if you're a General Motors holder, well, now you get a little positive little bonus on top of the usual holding of the stock. Now, one thing I want to add is a little of explanation about that $7,500 tax credit that you might be eligible to get. And for that, we're here on electric. So how much is the federal tax credit? So first and foremost, it's important to understand three little words. The government slips in front of the 7,500 credit may and up to, as you may qualify for up to 7,500 in federal tax credit for your electric vehicle. And this is the important part because you cannot just walk there and say, hmm, I'll buy this car because I know I'll get $7,500. No, it doesn't work like that. So they give an example here. If you purchased a Ford F100 Lightning and owed, say, $3,500 in income tax this year, then this is the federal tax credit you would receive. If you owed $10,000 in federal income tax, then you would qualify for the full $7,500, which means if you owed $1,000 or $2,000 in income tax, you will only get that. They say here it's also important to note that any unused portion of the $7,500 is not available as a refund nor as a credit for next year's taxes. And here are the EVs that could qualify for the $7,500 credit beginning January 1st, 2023. Some of them are actually eligible right now, as you can see with Ford, but the others are Cadillac, Chevrolet, Rivian is still in here, and then Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. As of January 1st, 2023, you could be eligible to get up to $7,500 in credit if you're buying a Model 3 or Model Y starting next year. Now, some of you might say, oh, this isn't fair. Why is Tesla only starting next year? Well, to be honest, it doesn't really matter, right? Because right now, demand is not the issue for Tesla. Supply is. So fine, let's wait until the end of this year to order a Tesla. I don't think it's going to hurt the next couple of quarters anyways. So there is that. Now, before we have a look at the analyst note, if you want to support this channel and myself, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now, or go to full.com for slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment. So we had a little upgrade here from an analyst as Wolf Research called Rod Lashy or Lash, probably butchered his name. So he upgraded Tesla to outperform from peer perform and set a $360 price target on the shares in conjunction with raising his 2025 US EV penetration estimate to 20% from 10%, so basically doubling that, and his global EV penetration estimate to 22% from 17.5%. The Inflation Reduction Act, or IRA, stands out as far and away the most consequential development for the US auto industry that we've seen in a very long time. He tells investors adding that he believes that this development is still far from fully appreciated. Given this view, he's incrementally more positive on Tesla and he is raising his 2023 and 2025 earnings per share estimate to $7.40 and $16. That's up from $6.12 and $12.70. He also added that for example, by 2025, the US government may be directing incentives worth 
12 billion dollars towards General Motors and General Motors customers alone. Tesla and their customers may be receiving close to 11 billion dollars. We would expect this to almost certainly influence OEM profitability. So basically, if we take the price of Tesla today, which is $274, which by the way, they outperform today, even with all the Twitter lawsuit thing, even with the macro environment, it was up 1.56% or so. The markets overall were red, a bit flat, but mostly red. Now, remains to be seen what happens with Twitter if well it goes against Elon then obviously he will probably have to sell some more shares so we might see some pressure on the stock there you can see here obviously I marked this area which is around $200 or so if he needs to sell more we might see the pressure push this stock a bit downwards right now with what the analyst said he expects the stock to go up around 30% which will bring us back over $350 again price targets analyst price targets tend to change pretty quickly these days, especially when we have news coming out, whether it's Twitter lawsuits, China lockdowns, etc. And so while I do agree that this Inflation Reduction Act is going to boost EV adoption, in the short term, this doesn't really matter much for Tesla right now because demand is already so high. For other automakers, this might help them tremendously, but right now for Tesla, it doesn't really matter. What does matter for Tesla in the short term is figuring out what the heck is going to happen with this Twitter lawsuit. If Elon manages to get out of it without paying a dime, well, that's the best case scenario, great. I'm pretty sure the stock will soar if that decision comes out. Now, how likely is this going to be? Very, very unlikely. Second scenario is probably he will have to buy Twitter, but at a lower valuation. Might not have to sell more Tesla shares. So the stock might react accordingly. If he does have to buy it at the full agreed price, probably Tesla stock goes down, Twitter stock goes up, and then let's see what happens. But overall, with regards to the analyst notes for General Motors and for Tesla, I do agree that this signed act is a big positive for the company, especially in the long term. Now, obviously, do share your thoughts down in the comments below with regards to the price target, with regards to the analyst notes, the incentive to spend on buying EVs and also your thoughts on what could happen with Elon Musk, with Tesla and with Twitter. Let me know down in the comments below and if you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one.